Welcome to The Resilient Rainer, the premier podcast focused on mental performance for equestrians and improved horse show performance. Whether you're a rookie rainer or a seasoned competitor, this show is for riders who want to take their skills to the next level and achieve their full potential in the show ring. I'm Nicole Burnett, and I'm a master mindset coach who's obsessed with helping you achieve all those horse dreams you always thought were impossible. Join me each week to develop a show-ready mindset and gain the competitive edge you need to compete with confidence. Hello, and welcome back to the podcast. Nicole Burnett here, and I am so glad and so grateful that you have chosen to spend some of your wonderful, valuable time with me today. I'm excited to talk with you today about proven ways to build confidence. One of the things that I see writers run into over and over is they just don't feel confident in the show pen. Heck, they just don't feel confident in general, riding in front of anybody. There could be somebody else at the barn when they're taking a lesson and they still struggle with feeling confident. So let's talk about confidence because it takes confidence to introduce yourself to new people at an event. It takes confidence to ride in front of somebody else at your lesson. It takes confidence to get in front of a judge and ride your pattern. It takes confidence outside of the barn to, you know, go to the gym for the first time. But you don't have to wait until you feel completely confident to do any of these things. So let's talk about steps you can take to build confidence and improve your life. Confidence is also a key component in growing mentally stronger. Boosting your self-confidence, it makes us more successful, improves our health, it increases your happiness. So what are some strategies to feel more confident? Well, one of the big things is I like to talk about confidence through competency. And basically that means to put in the work. (laughs) When you go to the show and you're not feeling very confident, sometimes it's being unfair to ourselves. And sometimes we go out in the show pen and we know that we've only ridden once a week or we know that that lead change isn't all the way there yet and that can do a number on your confidence and it's something that it can really get to you because you know that there's a level of not doing the work involved underlying that feeling and so address that head on get out and ride your horse school at home and practice until you've got that perfect practice. When you nail down the maneuvers at home and you know you can lay down a good run, you're going to feel a lot more confident when you walk in the show pen, no matter what goes down. So don't be afraid to just embrace the process, do the work, You can think of it as confidence through competency, getting that perfect practice before you hit the show pen. But when you truly know that you can do it, that really gives you a strong basis of unshakable confidence of knowing that you can do it. And what about the other things? (laughs) What about when you feel like, yeah, I can probably do this, but they can do it better, right? So that just right into our next strategy of you've got to stop comparing yourselves to others. It doesn't matter who you are at some time or another. We all compare ourselves to others. It's part of being human. But the problem is that when you measure yourself against other people, that erodes your self-confidence in a heartbeat. And The more envy people experience when they make comparisons, the worse that you feel about yourself. And research shows this out over and over. So 
pay attention to when you start thinking about other people that are either you know competing maybe above you or competing below you in some way and one perspective that can be useful is that instead of viewing of these other people as your competitors consider them opinion holders so someone who looks like they are doing well you could consider that they might have information or skills or resources that you could learn from and you could make it your goal to become better than you were yesterday not necessarily just better than somebody else but truly stop comparing yourself to others comparison is absolutely the thief of joy and it will undermine your confidence all day long Okay, this next one, <clears throat> this next one can be a little tricky at the horse shows because it's so easy to feel like you have to stay up late and get up early and there's only the crappy food at the concession stand, <clears throat> but take care of your body. Now that might seem a little unexpected when it comes to how to be mentally strong and be more confident, but feeling good about yourself is hard enough when you're not treating your body properly. When you prioritize caring for your physical self, you do something really great for your mind, your body, and your spirit. So taking care of your, of your body. These are things like eating healthy, even if you have to pack your own food, exercising, even on the road, meditating, getting plenty of sleep. These are all keys to help you feel your best. And you'd be surprised at just how adding in an extra walk around the showgrounds or making some healthier food choices can really bolster your confidence in the show pen. And it's not just what you put in your physical body. Another strategy here is to spend time around positive people. The people around you have a great impact on how you feel about yourself. So if you're surrounded by critical or judgmental people, it absolutely will take a toll on your mental strength. However, if you're interacting with people who cheer each other on and support one another, you will feel much better. The thing to watch out for is that research has found if you have low self-esteem, people with low self-esteem, they tend to befriend people who put them down. And so if you're feeling kind of bad about yourself or about how your last run with your horse went, you might be more open to spending time with people who put you down because you're used to hearing bad things about yourself or you're so busy saying bad things about yourself in your mind, you're not questioning when it's coming out of somebody else's mouth. So basically, if you feel really awful about yourself, hearing others say nice things about you can be uncomfortable. And so just pay close attention to the people you choose to surround yourself with. And don't be afraid at the show to, and outside of the show, to reduce or eliminate contact with certain people. You really Focus on creating healthier relationships with the positive people in your life. And even if it's uncomfortable at first, it does get easier over time. And hearing good things about yourself from others might help shift how you talk to yourself. Okay, so that's a little bit about some other people. And then internally, I have a few tips for internally as well. One thing is... It's the fake it till you make it. <laughs> There's no way around. You can't make a list about ways to increase your confidence without this one. You got to act as if you feel confidence. Nobody gains confidence sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Sometimes one of the best ways to change your internal feelings is to 
change your external behavior first. So play with this idea. Ask yourself what you would be doing at the show if you felt confidence. What classes would that version of you enter who is there to, you know, kick ass? Okay. What classes would they enter? How would they warm up? their horse? Would they talk to more people, less people? What would the version of yourself do who is confident and competent? What would they do at the show? Do those things now. And when you walk into the show pen, act like you feel confident doing it. Even small changes like a slight shift in your posture can make a huge difference in how you feel and how you present yourself and your horse. Another important strategy is to reframe your negative self-talk. When you talk down to yourself, you hold yourself back and decrease your confidence. Your subconscious mind buys into the idea that certain things are too hard or you can't handle it. So let's flip the script with a little self-talk, a little bit of kinder self-talk to overcome the self-doubt and take on new challenges. What does that look like? Rather than saying, gosh, like I can never do that spin right. Go for, I can do better next time. Instead of I can't handle this. And you're just talking about the entirety of the show and riding your horse and all the stuff say, I can do this. And if you're thinking something like I hate lead changes or I hate circles or I hate riding in public, (laughs) try replacing it with something like, I don't love riding in public, but everyone has strengths and weaknesses. And so Figuring out how to speak to yourself with more kindness is a way to empower yourself and increase your confidence instead of holding yourself back and decreasing your self-confidence. So as you go along and you keep going to shows, it's, of course, you may need to experiment with different strategies and, you know, just be a scientist with you're doing an experiment to figure out what works best for you as you grow mentally stronger and you become more confident. All right. Thank you so much for joining in on this quick episode this week of just some proven ways to build confidence. Drop me a comment, shoot me a message on social media. I want to hear if any of these really resonated for you and what you do to help yourself feel more confident when you enter the shows. So thanks for tuning in. Can't wait to talk to you again next week. See you later. Hey, if you're ready to finally get the reigning scores you deserve, I want to invite you to join my Mind Mastery 5-Day Challenge. You're going to find the right mental strategy to boost your performance and create a consistent winning routine. It's risk-free. If you decide it's not for you in the first 48 hours, I give you your money back. Just head over to www.nicoleburnettcoaching.com forward slash mind mastery. We'll see you inside.